It's a brand new week here on Seahawks today. We're counting you down to kick off for your Seattle Seahawks Thursday night matchup against the Dallas Cowboys. And I got a challenge for the 12s out there. Can we get to 45K in subscribers here on the channel before kickoff on Thursday? We're just over 200 away from reaching that milestone. Sub for dubs. You want to see Hawks win? Let's do our part. Get to 45K before kickoff. Subscribe now for free, and we'll get started with today's show. Thanks for joining us here on the channel today. Tyler Jones here with you. Thanks for joining us as we are talking about the latest roster moves for your Seattle Seahawks. It's been a busy last 48 hours of some notable changes the Seahawks have made prior to Thursday night's game against the Dallas Cowboys. This schedule this week a little bit different. It is a full week, but the week starting a little bit earlier coming off a Thursday game last week. So what did the Seahawks do? Let's start off with the biggest addition of all. That is adding Kelvin Joseph, the former second-round pick from the Dallas Cowboys, to the practice squad. Most recently with the Miami Dolphins, there was a lot of hype about Kelvin Joseph not too long ago, but things kind of went downhill pretty quick. Let's tell you what you need to know about Joseph. Uh, Second-round pick back in 2021, still a very young football player, has appeared in 26 games with three starts in 2021 and in 2022, struggled in pass coverage as a starter for Dallas in 2022, and that ultimately led to him being traded before this season to the Miami Dolphins, and then later on was released this month by Miami. They decided to go a different direction. There were some concerns, not just on the field performance-wise, but off the field as well with Kelvin Joseph. And Jerry Jones had this to say uh, not too long ago about Kelvin Joseph, talking about the issues that were lingering. Time for him to become a man, accept a higher responsibility. He's got more people depending on him. It's time for some the side stuff to ease its way out of his life. Now, for me, there's two things to look at when it comes to this addition of bringing Kelvin Joseph to Seattle. Number one, this is a good insurance policy for Rick Woolen with the shoulder injury that we heard was the reason why that he was taken out of the game last week against the San Francisco 49ers. And the Seahawks are continuing to monitor that and see if it's going to be a lingering issue. Kelvin Joseph, not a bad call at this juncture. Number two, timing. Timing's everything, right? Yeah, take out the Dallas Cowboys this week. Kelvin Joseph has sat in on a number of practices facing Dak Prescott in this Cowboys offense. He should know them inside and out. And when you come to game planning and scouting and practicing to get you ready for this Dallas Cowboys team, Kelvin Joseph should have a lot to offer, a lot to, that he should be able to tell you about how the Cowboys do things. The career stats for Kelvin Joseph include 38 tackles, one forced fumble, his PFF grades last year were not so hot. Overall grade, around 49. Run defense grade was really good, 82.7. But his tackling grade, 68.1. Coverage grade, 44.1. Joseph, a guy that spent the majority of the snaps when he's been on the field on special teams so far in his career. So there you have it. That's the move to bring in Kelvin Joseph. More to come in just a moment here on Seahawks today of other roster moves. But what do you think of the addition of Kelvin Joseph, the former second-round pick? Get out those red pins, answer our pin comment today, and let us know what you think. A, B, C, D, or F for me, I don't hate it. It's a practice squad signing. Takes a practice squad spot uh, for a guy that has tremendous potential that hasn't really uh, been able to get to where he need, he's capable of. I think this is a low-risk situation. I don't know how it isn't an A to give a guy like this a shot. Great for me in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Number two on our roster updates, Cody White has been brought back onto the Seahawks practice squad. Not the first time that we've seen Cody White on the Seahawks P squad. Undrafted in 2020 out of Michigan State, and he signed with the team back in October after previously playing for the Steelers, the Broncos, the Giants, and the Chiefs. And the thing that stands out to me when I look at Cody White as far as comparing him to some of these other typical practice squad signings is that this is somebody that actually has live game experience. He was on 
the Steelers' active roster. And so if you could have that as a guy to potentially keep around, maybe it's a call-up if you have an injury or whatever it is, I don't hate this idea at all to have Cody White hanging around in that capacity. To me, it makes sense for the Seahawks to have that. Uh, Game experience has to mean something, even if it's not a ton of experience. uh, To me, that's a good thing to have for the Seahawks. And obviously, they see something if they're keeping him around and giving him another shot at the practice squad. So for me, that's a win-win for the Seahawks team. More to come here on Seahawks Today coming up in just a moment. But I want to tell you about our newest sponsor here on Seahawks Today, Factor. Factor is offering 50% off on their fantastic meals. Uh, and if you use the promo code SeahawksChat50, you can see for yourself. This holiday season, you might be looking for nutritious, convenient meals to keep you energized on jam-packed days. Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal delivery service, can help you fuel up fast for breakfast, lunch, and dinner with chef-prepared, dietitian approved ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. You'll save time, eat well, and stay on track with your healthy lifestyle while tracking All of your holiday to-dos. Skip the stress of meal prepping over the holidays with Factor. Choose from 35-plus weekly flavor-packed, fresh, never-frozen meals that support a healthy lifestyle and meet your meal preferences, all delivered right to your door and ready to eat in two minutes. Enjoy extra convenience any time of day with an assortment of 45-plus add-ons to suit various preferences and tastes. Choose from breakfast items like our delicious Apple cinnamon pancakes, oh, Bake, bacon and cheddar egg bites. That sounds tasty. And potato bacon and egg breakfast skillet. Or for an easy wellness boost, try a refreshing beverage option like cold pressed juices, shakes, and smoothies. I got some factor meals coming my way, by the way, folks. I ordered some. I'm curious to try this out for myself. I'll let you know how it goes. I'm sure it's going to be good. If you want to be like me and try out Factor Meals, you're in luck. You can head over to factormeals.com slash SeahawksChat50 and use code SeahawksChat50 to get 50% off. That's code SeahawksChat50 at factormeals.com slash SeahawksChat50 to get 50% off. Start eating good today. More roster updates for you. Levi Bell, unfortunate news, has been placed on injured reserve. And it looks like his season is likely done at this point. Levi Bell, one of the best stories of camp for the Seahawks, uh, of what he was able to do. A UDFA out of Texas State, initially signed with the Baltimore Ravens, then ends up with the Seattle Seahawks team and really just shined. Uh, Came very close to making the 53-man roster at one point in time. He was the most popular player uh, on the Seahawks practice squad. And the way he looked, I mean, this guy was – Really coming into his own, unfortunate for him. One of the best stories that we heard. Hate to hear this about Levi Bell, but I wouldn't rule out that we've seen the last of Levi Bell. Hopefully he'll get another shot next year to potentially make this uh, Seahawks roster uh, based on just the flashes he showed and continue to take some steps in the right direction there. Now, when we talk about roster moves, I think the question that everybody wants to know, is this Seahawks team, is this a playoff roster right now? Six and five on the year, have not been playing your best football as of late. Do you feel confident that this roster, this group of young men, can get the job done, get in the postseason? If you think it's a playoff roster, type Y for yes. If not, type in for no. Tell me why you don't think it is. Very curious. What do you guys think of this roster? Weigh in the comment section. Tell me what you think. One final note on the roster updates for the Seahawks. Ben Brown has been released from the practice squad, the 2022 UDFA out of Old Miss. His time is done for now. Uh, he previously played with the Bengals, has dealt with these bicep injuries on and off since college, since his days at Old Miss. Just very unfortunate circumstances for Ben Brown that uh, he's had to deal with. And this was a guy that at one point was considered one of the best interior linemen in college football. And he's just had this bad series of unfortunate luck over the last couple of seasons of, you know, dating back to those college days of staying healthy and those bicep issues have lingered on. So sucks for him, uh, but maybe not the last we've heard of Ben Brown potentially there. Uh, So to tell you where the Seahawks practice squad stands right now, let's run through these. 
uh, and tell you who is wearing a Seahawks uniform at the moment. Tyler Mabry at tight end, Kay Johnson at wide receiver, Aesop Winston Jr. at wide receiver. Both those guys have been on the active roster at one point in time uh, over the last couple of seasons. Patrick O'Connell at linebacker, Lance Boykin at corner, uh, Ty Okada at safety, Bryant Kobach at running back, Tyreek Smith, uh, former fifth-round pick by the Seahawks last year out of Ohio State, had a very good preseason. He's on uh, the P-Squad right now. Joey Hunt at center, Jonathan Sutherland. He was a big standout in a camp, uh, a, a UDFA out of Penn State, a name to still potentially follow, see if he gets a chance maybe on the active roster. Cody Thompson at wide receiver. We've seen Cody bounce on and off the active roster in the P-Squad. Uh, Austin Fallow, the nose tackle that was with the Seattle Sea Dragons at one point. He was on the active roster for a hot minute. Brett Ruppin joined the Seahawks uh, just last week from the Los Angeles Rams, and he's the de facto third-string quarterback. And then uh, Jake Curhan at the offensive tackle spot just joined the practice squad recently uh, after being on the active roster for quite a while, and we've seen him get some significant playing time this year. Cody White, and now the most recent addition, Kelvin Joseph, also on that list, completes the practice squad for the Seahawks. Who's a player on the Seahawks practice squad that you would like to see promoted to the active roster? Give me a name that comes to mind. Drop it in that comment section and let us know what you think. Appreciate you joining us here on the channel today. For more Seattle Seahawks coverage, subscribe now for the latest happenings on your favorite team. We got you covered. We'll see you next time right here on Seahawks Today.